an historic beach snatched from its owners nearly a century ago. But now the state and the LA Board of Supervisors right or wrong done over Bruce's Beach. The great grandsons of the original owners will soon take possession of the property, getting their shot at generational wealth. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live at Manhattan Beach with the future of Bruce's Beach. Candace. Well, Pat, the Bruce family told me that they're excited and thankful that county and state leaders did the right thing and returned this land uh, to their family. It's been home to a park and lifeguard, uh, lifeguard towers for decades. Well, they say it's a big move towards the fight against systemic racism. We wanted to be here. We just wanted to be able to just feel it, if nothing else. This is a great moment for us. Malcolm and Cynthia Perkins wanted to be at Bruce's Beach on this monumental day when the L.A. County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to return the beachfront property to the descendants of Willa and Charles Bruce. Five to zero. The mood was celebratory as supervisors approved the motion that would transfer the land to the heirs of the couple who first purchased it back in 1912 for just over $1,200. Anthony Bruce, one of the descendants, spoke with us by Zoom yes. after the vote. It's like being on top of the world, honestly. But it is also a great reminder of the horrible past that we had as a family. And I don't want anybody to overlook that. Willa and Charles Bruce turned the property into a resort that attracted black families as they were barred from many beaches. It would soon become a target of racist threats and harassment from white neighbors. The city eventually seized it under the guise of eminent domain in 1929. Supervisor Janice Hahn, who's played a big role in the land transfer, was emotional as she spoke about the journey to make this a reality. We will never be able to make up for the injustice that was done to Willa and Charles Bruce a century ago. But this is a start. And by returning the property to their great-grandchildren, we're allowing them the opportunity to start rebuilding the generational wealth that was denied them for decades. When something is taken like uh, under the, uh, the eminent domain, you don't get the money. As part of the new agreement, the county will lease land back from the Bruce heirs with an option for them to sell it back down the road. Anthony Bruce says he hopes this sets a precedent for paying back those wronged by systemic racism. This is the first time that this has ever happened. So whenever they have a situation where they're going to give something back to an uh, individual because of something that had happened in the past, I think this is it's going to be indicative for that kind of situation. Now, under the agreement, the county will lease the land from the Bruce family for just over $400,000 a year. The family then has the option to sell it to the county uh, for no more than $20 million. Reporting in Manhattan Beach, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Candace, thank you. Well, the death toll now from that.